Over Lambulance. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, buddy. All right. Well, as you can see, started tearing apart the front of that. Make sure you guys can see here. That seems a little better. So, I'm gonna pull that apart. Um, so I can make it a pass through. But, shoot. The inverter's gone, so when I plug in, it doesn't have any power, so I need to rig up some lighting or something. Um, and then I'm gonna tear that apart. So, I don't want to die of fumes, so let me figure this out. Get work done. All right, well, I turned off the, the motor on the ambulance, and then, I don't know if you guys can see me or not, I turned off the motor on the ambulance, and then I uh, tried to turn on the lights, you know, and I hit the disconnect button because I didn't want to run the batteries down. And I plugged the ambulance in and hoping that we'd have some light and nothing's working. So I pulled this little panel off here. And lo and behold, the inverter's gone. So I guess I'm going to have to rig up some lighting. Oh my God, I'm embarrassed. Can you believe this? I guess these, <laughs> oh my God. Here I am using this dang blue eddy, which is doing all right, but I guess the freaking, only the fluorescents work off of that. That's good to know, I guess, you know what I mean? Okay. Well, shoot, let me see if this one switch Let's see if they all work. Sweet. All the fluorescent lights work. All right, since, so now since we have some uh, actual working lights, let's just uh, go ahead and work on getting this thing out of here. And uh, that'll be the goal for tonight. Ooh -wee. Excited to get working. All right, so I got I got the top off. I got a couple little um, pieces off the side here, and I didn't even realize this was this was a set of drawers. So I don't know how I'm gonna get that out, but I guess I'm just gonna have to do it. Looks like a pain in the butt. All right, well, it's been a bit of a struggle, but I was able to get the um, drawers out. It literally took me like two hours. And I just, I mean, I had to take a hacksaw and I had to like cut in there the bolts. I couldn't get to the other bolts. And it's a huge chunk of metal. I threw it out here, let me grab it. So I had to take off all this stuff. Whew. Could feel that in the back, boy. Hey. Had to take off all these. See, that's where the, look at that where I had to cut with a hacksaw. Can you see that? Because I could not get to them bolts down there. Well, I'll tell you what, that might have been just a little screw, but it tore me down. And then it has this. This thing's freaking thick. Whew. 
I really don't know how much I got left in me. My back is killing me. Um, well, you can see I chunked the sides on it. And it had a shock underneath it to suck it back out. But let me pull this other stuff out. Oh. See if I can just get this out. That's my goal tonight. And just like that, guys, we got us a pass through. And some moths. Not a huge one. Ow! But it's good enough. I'm gonna get this cleaned up. Mostly everything was aluminum, which is nice. And, uh,. You know that's that made it a little easier the only thing that was heavy was this freaking drawer in there so yeah let me flip you guys around so you can check it out Boop. did that work i hope so i don't know i'll turn it back this way just in case all right so that's all the stuff we pulled out right there It was not that easy, honestly. I hope the rest of the box isn't that hard. So, that's where the inverter goes normally. Let me see if this light works here. Yep, there we go. The inverter usually goes. I'm gonna have another shelf there, which is nice. Shelf there with stuff in it already. Shelf there. And then one thing that was pretty cool was I got this little safe. So I did have it re keyed so that it's secure and only I know the password. I don't know if I showed you guys this. You guys had to seen that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I'm scared of it. Lights out, it's gonna stay out forever. I'm not messing with it. All right, headache rack or headache pad. And uh, well, let's start taking apart some of this other stuff. These things I don't have to be bent over to do. So we'll just give it the old college try, if you will. I think I'm gonna stop there for the night. Got a little, my back's a little tatered right now. Um, got the path, um, pass through done. A couple of these things off, and then this done. So, take a break, and uh, maybe I'll come back and do some more. Ha, ah, sucker! All right, guys, appreciate you. Take a little break, and. I think I got a little bit more in me. See if we can do a little more. <sighs> well, kind of at a standstill now. I forgot to uh, bring my drill bits over. So I got a couple of four rivets right there two up top so maybe I'll just pull down some of this stuff from the top huh mm. let's do that I'm not quite sure what I'm doing yet um, as far as interior build I should have started on this side since I'm gonna do the bed but my whole point was I had to get that cushion off so I knew where the mounting points were and I want to see what's in back of this thing. I mean, I don't want to break it because if nothing else, it's a template. Um, these things have spray insulation in them. I just don't know how good it is, how thin. So, might end up insulating it. We'll see.
Well, got quite a bit more done. As you can see, guess we'll just have to wait till tomorrow hit it again. Tomorrow's a new day. It's another day. And time to get at it again. Sure hope I'm not wearing the same shirt that I was the last time. You guys are gonna be like, this guy never changes. But I do. All right, guys, so that took a bit of time and work. And if you're wondering why I was so gentle or tried to be so used to the bars being there, I need the, um, the patterns. I'm all out of breath. Try to pull it off real easy. I didn't want to snap it and I, I did kind of crack that. Yeah, it's coming along good. Or demoing good. You guys see the mess I've got going on in here? Tearing it apart pretty good. So I'm just gonna call it for the night. Start back up tomorrow morning and start cleaning up and stuff. I'm not back and stuff. I'm only good for a couple hours at a time, it seems like. Then if I wanna walk tomorrow, I'll stop now. See you guys in the morning.